Hollywood, Heartbreak, and Houses. Here's who inherited Johnny Carson's money after his death. Often combining comedy with games, gags, celebrity guests, and musical performances, late night television dates back to the early days of television itself. While originating on network channels like CBS and NBC, they branched out to include cable channels. For example, Full Frontal with Samantha Bee aired on TBS, as did Conan for over 10 years. The uh, makers of Crocs, that's right, Crocs, the makers of Crocs. That's right, you heard me, man, Crocs. <laughs> I'm doing this for me now. Not all of these contemporary shows follow the same typical format, but those on network stations like Late Night with Seth Meyers, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, and Jimmy Kimmel Live grew from earlier shows with similar lighthearted content. PBS credits Tonight starring Steve Allen is the first variety show meets talk show airing nationally starting in autumn 1954, with Allen acting as host until 1957. Jack Parr took over for the next five years, introducing comedy monologues, celebrity interviews, and musical performances. But under the third host, Johnny Carson, The Tonight Show became a staple of late-night programming for more than 40 years. NBC's The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson, received multiple Emmy nominations and wins, and, according to the Los Angeles Times, featured some 22,000 guests, including A-listers like Betty White, Steve Martin, Desi Arnaz, and Olivia Newton-John. Carson's show allowed for new entertainers to receive exposure, with Jay Leno performing stand-up on Carson's show years prior to taking over as its host. According to Us Weekly, talk show host Ellen DeGeneres got a life-changing break in her career after performing her stand-up act in 1986. David Letterman, another talk show powerhouse, said simply, he gave me a career. According to PBS, the ratings for The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson nearly doubled those of his predecessors, which made for some great paychecks. Celebrity Net Worth states that Carson was the highest-paid television-based celebrity in the 1970s, with his salary peaking at $25 million per year by the early 1990s. That's the equivalent to roughly $54 million today. By the time Carson died in 2005, around 13 years after retiring from The Tonight Show, his net worth was reportedly $300 million, which is approximately $457 million today. But Carson was equally generous and established the charity the John W. Carson Foundation, which served as the beneficiary of his trust. Initially valued at $156 million, which later grew to $200 million, its purpose is to support children, education, and health services, particularly in Los Angeles and in Nebraska, a state where he grew up. Carson left another $4 million to the Los Angeles Children's Hospital. Carson did not forget entirely about his family in his will, however. He had a private and complex family life. According to the Los Angeles Times, the death of his son Richard in a car crash in 1991 made him become conscious of what's important, retiring from television just a year later. During his sign-off, he addressed his sons. I realize that being an offspring of somebody who is constantly in the public eye is not easy. So, uh, guys, I want you to know I love you. He lived the rest of his life rather privately. Carson was famously married four times, with even Lucille Ball while a guest on his show joking, you get married a lot. His longest relationship and marriage was to his last wife, Alexis Moss, from 1987 until his death in 2005. According to CelebAnswers.com, Moss split Carson's remaining inheritance with his remaining sons, Chris and Corey, the children of Carson and his first wife, Jody Morrill Wolcott. Moss also inherited Carson's four-acre Malibu estate, which she sold in 2007 for $36.5 million, which is approximately $52 million in today's money. Today, Carson's descendants keep low profiles. According to Closer Weekly, none of his children followed in his footsteps to Hollywood, with biographer Henry Bushkin stating that Carson's children didn't give him much to be proud of. Not only does Carson's legacy live on in his philanthropic work, but also in the present-day late-night talk shows. It's up to everyone's own opinion which Tonight Show host is the best, but Carson definitely holds a place in late-night history and in the hearts of his fans for his humor and humanity throughout his life.